Hey, hi, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is wonderful to be back out here with you again, taking a look at another awesome roguelike. Folks, this is a game called Gatekeeper, and, you know, we demoed this one way back when. These guys put out kind of a prologue version of the game, and we see those from time to time. And it was a lot of fun, and the dev just reached out to me the other day and said, Hey, Goat, would you like to come in and... Play some more Gatekeeper, and I said, yeah, of course I'd love to come back in and play more Gatekeeper. Show it off to all of you. And what we have here is kind of a top-down Risk of Rain, uh, an, an action roguelike shooter of sorts. And we've got a bunch of abilities on a cooldown. We are going to find several artifacts along the way that are going to build us up all kinds of interesting powers that, that trigger. And then those powers will work to trigger other powers. And we're gonna put together a very collaborative set of killing tools across this run. Over time, we're going to evolve. Movement speed, base health, or skill cooldown time. We're going to go skill cooldown time. And we have the flame blast that will occasionally light guys on fire. We've got the bouncy bullet. And then we've got a dash that's on a cooldown as well. And then just our normal pea shooter that we can pop off at will. But over time, let me tell you, we're going to build up an arsenal. Now, let's see. Plus 4 HP per stack to health regen while health is below 40%. Okay. Now, this game is objective-based. We're going to visit various stages along the way, depending on how long we survive. And each one of them will have an objective. And then once we meet that, sometimes a boss is summoned in. Sometimes we just activate a portal and we get the hell out of Dodge. So folks, the plan today is to see how weird of a build we can put together. We're going to go attack speed and have a good time doing it. All right, so we can leave at this point by going to the Quorum and activating it, but before we do that, I want to grab this other obelisk. And we're going to go and hit a 25% chance to trigger Chain Lightning with two plus one per stack bounces. Yes, absolutely. All right, and now we're going to leave. And we're going to take a sip of coffee. Cheers to you. The other day, I posted a video that I created when I was still feeling the massive effects of a head cold. This is head cold season, isn't it? And, uh, you know, I'm feeling a lot better now. I, I might not sound a hundred percent like myself, but I gotta say, I am... I'm feeling a lot better. All right, so some addition to our health regen. On hit, a 5% per stack chance to launch a projectile at the enemy, or after kill, the next first skill attack deals plus 50% more damage. Ooh. All right, I think I'm going to go with this. Oh, man. Love that.
So feeling a lot better. And you know, when you get to that point and that gigantic elephant that feels like it's it's been standing on your nose for the last few days, when that thing finally climbs off, you know, it's it's just I feel like you're on top of the world, you know, because you beat the big sick. Really great. So I guess we've got to charge some totems, right? Uh, specifically one totem. So let's head up here and grab this power up first. Okay, 25% chance to trigger the chain lightning. That sounds great. And we're gonna go ahead and trigger the charging of the totem. And this is one of those tasks where you've got to stay inside the circle regardless of how much hell the game throws at you. Now, if you leave momentarily, you can come back in. Now, let's go ahead and pick a level up here. Base damage, regen, or base health. I'm going to go damage this time. Oh, these guys grouped up real nicely. Let's go with the bouncing bullet. Spirits emerge. Oh, gosh. All right. They're not kidding. And once we finish this objective, uh, like last time, we'll go and grab those power-ups that we haven't picked up yet. Now, here's the cool thing about this game, which, by the way, this is going to be out in early access on May 10th, so thank you to the dev for allowing us to, to get in here early and show it off to you. You can get in here with your friends. This thing has multiplayer. It would be fun. This would be a fun game to play with some buddies. Just thinking about the times that I played Risk of Rain 2 with a couple buddies and, and me and my other buddy were, were loving it. And then the other guy was saying, where the hell do we have to go? You know, we, we got lost. Uh, let's go with attack speed again. We can get out of here. We've charged the thing. So let's grab those remaining power-ups. Yeah, so we loved it. And my other buddy said, I am not playing this again. On killing an enemy, a 30% chance to summon a Resectoid that attacks a random enemy. Yes. Sounds lovely. Now we're going to come down here. Grab that. Perfect. All right. I have a little bit of a run maneuver or... You know, the ability to speed up a little bit as well. And that's going to take us to stage three. But if you've played Risk of Rain 2 a few times, you know, sometimes you get in one of those stages and you go, hey, where the hell is the portal? Where is it? Where do I go to activate the boss, right? It, it's It's happened. My one buddy was not a fan of that. All right. Kill them all. We got 81 on a hit. A 5% chance per stack, chance to release a wave of energy, or a vessel drops from a killed enemy. All right. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm going to go with this. Oh, there's that blast of energy. That's pretty cool. See how things are starting to trigger a little bit more here. It's starting to get pretty interesting. All right, we're going to grab this and we're going to go a little bit more to regen. And oh, now this is interesting. So now we can actually upgrade. So this will increase our damage to burning enemies. I think I'm just going to go with 
an upgrade to the pea shooter, make it a little bit stronger. You know, but we use it pretty frequently. And while we are killing enemies, we're gonna head to this next buff station. All right, perfect. percent to damage with an eight unit radius oh cool all right so we got garlic we, we have we have kind of garlic I think when they get closer they take extra damage if I was understanding that right I was trying to read it while not getting killed but that seems to be the the thing so attack speed skill cooldown time let's go another in uh, cooldown time Pretty important. And let's see, are there any other buffs to be found in the area? It, it doesn't look like it. But I can see our little resectoids wandering around. Where are the enemies, folks? Go ahead and take out another camera. Ah, here they are. Looks like they just needed to spawn in. So this week just is flying by. I cannot believe that we're already at the end of another week. I mean, I don't know about you. April flew by for me. Regen, movement speed. Oh, probably movement speed this time. We'll go with a little bit of an all-rounder. Speed's going to come in handy at some point. When the elites show up, believe me. All right, looks like we've got some enemies down here. Four left. I do think this game does a, a good job of indicating where stuff is at on the map so you're not just out there blindly searching you know, taking sips of coffee. All right, cheers to you. Actually double fisting today. I, I think that's what the kids call it. I've got, uh, I've got a little bit of coffee left and a little bit of cacao left. My wife and I got up to uh, watching some TV programs that have been putting off for a while. We finished up a HBO documentary called Synanon about an organization back in the, what was it, the 70s uh, that folks with alcohol and drug addiction could go uh, live at, spend time at, get better. Started out as a pretty great idea and um, morphed into a cult. Interesting story. Uh, definitely worth watching if, if you have HBO Max. We'll wrap that one up. And then started The Jinx Part 2. I know we talked about The Jinx a little bit. Story of Robert Durst. It is worth your time, folks. Very, very good. I'm surprised this guy isn't moving. But I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. A little bit less complicated, right? 
Now let's get this evolution and then we'll go ahead and activate that quorum. Uh, we're gonna go damage this time for our all-rounder. Yes, if you liked the first Jinx, you are really going to enjoy the Jinx part two. I've, I've seen one episode so far. It is very, very good. All right, so we've got another totem charging objective here. And we are going to go attack speed this time. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, 35% to max health. Not bad. Vertebral, vertebral implant. Let's try that again. Try that three times fast. Or don't. Or don't. Um, let's go over to that totem. Here it is. I must have walked right past it. As I mentioned, this is going to be coming out in early access on May 10th. And so, you know, as I play and enjoy the game, I, I'm thinking to myself, what all are they going to add? Are they going to add different, uh, different biomes, different types of objectives along the way? Because, you know, you're getting a feel now for what kind of objectives the, the game offers right now. Uh, but I wonder over time, you know, is that going to be part of their roadmap? Additional objectives. Uh, there are two characters that are open uh, to be utilized right now. And I plan on looking at some of the different characters and how they play uh, as we do coverage of, of this game. Selfishly, I want to know, but I'm sure you do as well. All right, everyone within the area takes 30% more damage. All right. That's how we're treating each other now. Right, we are just about there. And there we are. All right, we've got an evolution and 10% chance to fire an additional projectile in the direction of the shot or guaranteed to ignite. We're gonna do that. And then next time we'll take advantage of the upgrade that, ooh, look at this, what's this? After kill, first skill attack, or plus 25% to damage within an eight unit. Oh, nice. Okay, let's do another stack of that for our garlic feature. And this sounds okay. Ascension talisman attacks every eight seconds. Yes. Now we've got a little... Uh, Little pet talisman now. Not bad. Alright, let's activate the quorum and get the hell out of Dodge. We can figure out how to get over there. Let me let me run. How about that? Or float faster. Even better, right? Okay. Take a quick sip here. I'm going cacao this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was nice to kick back and get up to some TV last night. I wish I could say the same for tonight, but I will I will be at the gym. It's a gym day. And you know what? It is going to be a tough time at the gym. Uh, let's do this. Plus one per stack. So this will be a fourth stack now. Let's do that. 
I'm liking this set of abilities that we've got going. Holy cow. Kill them all indeed. 10% uh, base damage, health. We're going to go cooldown time. It's been a minute on that one. But you know, we should venture out a little bit here. So I'm sure there's a bunch of abilities in the area. Let's grab some of them. Yeah, I've been away from the gym for a little bit because of the, you know, the whole big sick thing. And... Uh, Okay, all right, that's good, that's good. More max health, not bad. And so, you know, you, you kinda, you lose a little bit. You lose out a little bit. And, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I have. I, I have a little bit. So, um, you know, it's it's always tough going back, but I'm just gonna take it slow and, and do my thing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be glad that the elephant is finally, uh, you know, uprooted from my nose, right? All right, so we'll grab that and let's take a look at what this is. Oh, perfect. Um, no, let's do that whole projectile thing. I like how these guys start out slow and then they're like, nah, just kidding, we're, we're running at you. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Movement speed, cooldown. Let's go speed. Speaking of, we're going to zoom on over to this quorum. Perfect. Uh, are we heading into stage six here? Hmm. Okay. Things are getting serious. Now, I will admit to you. I do not know how many areas there are altogether. On hit, a 5% chance to release a wave of energy or a vessel drops from a killed enemy. We don't have this yet. Let's get the fuse thing. That sounds pretty good. And why don't we grab this too while there's no enemies here? Because I would imagine once we activate that cell, we're gonna get swarmed. Uh, let's do that one. It's another thing that we don't have yet. That's the cell, I think. All right, I think we're ready. Let's do it. Collect and insert the keys into the monoliths. Okay, all right. So maybe we're not going to get swarmed, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I spoke too soon. It, it, it does look like a welcome party of sorts, doesn't it? There's a couple keys right off the bat. So let's head to the totems. There's one. Looks like we've got a few down here, but... I want to go grab this power up as well. Ooh, there's a key. Oh, these are the good stations over here. Let's make sure we grab this too. Okay. Wow. Uh, let's go attack speed this time. Killing an enemy, 30% chance to summon Resectoid. Yeah, let's do another stack of damage. And I really like how this is coming together so far. Where right? I think we're looking pretty good. You're like, yeah, go. You would say that regardless of what you felt. Come on. No, I think I'm 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 good when it you know when it comes to uh, admitting that I have uh, I have made a mess of myself. I uh, you know I I think I'm relatively honest about all of that. You know, 
sometimes we uh, we call it YouTuber blindness in the comments, and and sometimes I read it and I go, nope, I think I just messed up. But but that's all right. We're all friends here. It's all good. Oh man! All right. Thank goodness for the additional speed upgrades we got. They are coming in handy against old Quantum here. Health is looking pretty good overall. He got me on that one. Couldn't get out of there fast enough. Let's uh, grab this evolution. And I'm thinking attack. I'm sorry, movement speed. That's what I meant. Especially in the situation we're in. With these AoEs. Speed's gotten us out of a jam multiple times. I have a feeling we're going to be successful here. Outstanding. All right, let's grab that and let's grab this evolution. Ooh, bigger explosion radius. That's interesting, but this is what we want. Let's get out of here. Nailed it. Cheers to you. A boat of Ashes, Purgatory 17. All right, well, this is uh, definitely a different looking zone, isn't it? looks a lot tighter as well. Let's see if it opens up as we make our way in. Uh, we're gonna go with that. looking at the different pillars that are the second skill gangs an additional charge of use wow holy cow I mean, that's huge now this blacksmith i believe is used to uh melt down some of your current relics You know, and then perhaps create new ones. I, I, I haven't spent a ton of time utilizing it. And these guys are still coming at us. Wow. All right. So that's not something you want to do when you're engaged in combat. These guys are way too fast, even for that slowdown effect. Um... We're gonna go damage here. But we'll take a look at that in a moment. Oh, that was a nice one. We got two left.
Got him. All right. So let's see what the deal is here. So I think we can decide, you know, do we want to melt one and then we're going to get this currency and then we can create over here. The thing is, I like everything we got. I've been careful about what we've chosen. So I'm not going to do that this run. Um, perhaps we'll look at doing that in a future gatekeeper run. I think the build's pretty good, you know? All right, Bridge of the Damned. Purgatory 17. We're back in a similar looking area here. Got here. Doubles damage both to enemies and the owner. Wow. A 10% chance to create an area at the point of the enemy's death. Damage 10% of maximum health once every 0.3 seconds. Damages everyone. I mean, that's kind of cool. I just have to be really careful. All right. We're going to do it. It's I, I liked it better than the other one. I'm going to... Pop that off in just a second. Reducing enemies' health below 50% launches three stack incendiary projectiles. Cool. Now the other one looked like life steal. I'm gonna go with that. Well, let's pop this thing off and we'll head up here. Go with that thing. And uh, we'll do this one. So now it's what, a 20% chance of having that pop off then? It's not bad. I don't believe I mentioned it, but the keys, in case that wasn't obvious, they're dropped randomly by the enemies. So you just kind of have to fight until you've got enough keys. Uh, let's buff the talisman. Let's do attack speed again. There's our last monolith. For whatever reason, I just really wanted to take that last guy out. Haunting Enclave, Stage 9. Still in Purgatory 17. Alright. So where is the totem up here. Now if you step on those traps, it'll slow you down quite a bit. Man, these spiders really take a beating. Wow. 
and we're gonna go for it. At the beginning of each turn, restores 20% of the player's maximum health. Wow, that's cool. they're doing that because it's about to get crazy in here. That's my guess. At the beginning of each turn, the totem spawns a reinforced horde. Okay. So we're halfway there. Summons the current planets rampant. That must be these jerks over here. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's uh add to that movement speed, why don't we? Oh. Okay. So I believe we get one revive and maybe that's a thing that happens because I'm playing solo. Oh god, that's not good. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. Cannot step in another one of those slow down traps. Bouncing shot is perfect for that. Oh, goodness. Wow. Goat Force Gaming unlocked disorientation. That doesn't sound like something that I should celebrate. That was fun, right? So here's what we got. We have the hybrid. We have... Nidum, which I believe we might have tried this character in the demo. Activate Apotheosis. Find Dawnbreaker. Visit the planet Aurora twice per run. Has a total of 60 locations. Wow. So speaking of, you know, how long does it go on? Is it endless? I don't know. You know, this looks like a seed number over here. Or perhaps it's a code to give to a friend. Um, I'm not sure. Haven't played it uh, cooperatively yet, but uh, that would be fun too. All right, folks. So that's where we're going to jump on this one. This is Gatekeeper, and this is coming to early access on May 10th. It's kind of a top-down risk of rain, and as far as I can tell... It's more of a roguelike than it is a roguelite, uh, depending on how you feel about, you know, opening up new characters as a form of progression. We also have this area called the Emporium, and it looks like by visiting various areas, we're going to open up new abilities as well for future runs. Pyromancer. That sounds very interesting. Night more than 20 enemies at once. Color me interested, folks. All right. You take care out there. Let's do this again sometime soon. We'll get together. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every damn time. And uh, you know what? We're going to give away a video game at least once a week as well because we like doing those, don't we?
We're going to do that 200 times this year. Thanks to you. All right, folks, you take care. We'll see you again soon.